Okay, so this is just the North Pole itself. Sensory's built a custom PCB that runs it, but the whole thing just takes data in from the Compass module, powers it via a battery pack, uses a ring of servos, and it's all held in place with this fabric angle. You get it in a kit, you build it yourself, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's well tested, so the actual principle works quite well. Quinn Norton's got one, it's been in H Plus magazine, it's been out for about two years, it's very well known. Uh, Southpaw, which is what mine will be called because I'm the founder, it's the same thing. It's just different hardware. So the principle's not new. I mean, uh, this haptic sensor has been around for a really long time. Uh, existing North Pole, you can't just chuck it in. Uh, there's batteries that it runs on, which is a bad idea. You can't put those inside you. It needs bioproofing. Everything's way too big. Like I said, motors are kind of stupid because it's just using a middleman. You really need electrodes under the skin. Uh, it doesn't adapt to change of axis. So if you put your eye like that, it won't tell you which one's north anymore it'll still be pointing north as if you were walking directly. That needs fixing, but not a problem because we have a different microprocessor, and it only has eight directions, which is kind of crap. So it means that people set out to fix this, really, and make it not only better, but more of a more implanted device. It is just for fun. It's not finished yet. Uh, like I said, my controller uses a much smaller microcontroller rather than a custom PCB, because I ain't smart enough for that. So it uses a little tiny, uh, I think it's about two millimeters by three millimeters, a little MSP microcontroller. Philips Compass chip is a little bit bigger. I'm still trying to find a miniature version of that, but at a pinch, the normal one could fit too. It uses an inductive receiver coil. Uh, the transmitter coil is external to it, so you can charge it overnight while it's still inside you. Lithium cells, this is, I didn't work out the coil by myself. Somebody else helped me. I don't know if they're even here or not, but so that, that wasn't me. I'm not smart enough for that shit. Output is 16 euro electrodes on your lower left leg. Could be on your right leg as well, but it's better to put it on the hand that, or leg that you write with just because you're more used to things coming in from there. Uh, mine's on the left leg. Like I said, could be anywhere you want. It's just better on the leg because that tends to be more of a stable axis. And my immediate concerns are more like getting components <laughs> rather than figuring out blueprints because I, I know what I'm going to do. I just don't quite have the money to do it yet. So if anyone wants to, you know, catch up and do this instead of me, go ahead. <laughs> Piecing together electronics I've been doing, I've been figuring out how to not shock myself with it, figuring out how to work the power transfer, all kinds of things. Figuring out how to keep coils stable inside your body is quite difficult also. Well, it turns out all you have to do is make more stable cuts, but there you go. <laughs> uh, future plans, well, they're not really future, more like immediate future, but I need to get a physical prototype working before anything else. I mean, uh, the, the programming side of it's really not going to be hard. All it has to do is take in data and put in output correspondingly. But it needs testing larger objects and Suguru. I've tested a lot of large things, but never all together. So I don't know how a lot of, lots of implants in one area is actually going to go together. This is all very experimental. <laughs> uh, I need more people to join in also because I'm quite bored of this just being me. So, uh, if anyone wants to join in... <laughs> Also, I need to learn a lot more about electronics because all the stuff I know involves a PCB and that's really not practical inside you. So, trying to leave enough. As like I said, you can do better at this than I can. Uh, pretty much all of you. You're all hackers. I'm not a real hacker. I just do things with cutting myself up and stuff. But somebody with an actual real-world experience of electronics would be able to do really well at this. You just need to know what to use for coatings and what to put where. It's, it's really not difficult knowledge. So people with better, uh, what's the word, brains, would be able to do better projects than me. It's just that nobody does so far, probably because of the self-harm, but whatever. <laughs> it's not self-harm if it does something, right? Anyway, that's about everything, so ask me questions. You. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Okay, you. hang on, hang on. So before question time, oh, right. hang Not on. You. <laughs> so after all of those very, very well-advised warnings about doing this, raise your hand if you still want to give this a try. <laughs> yeah! Well, that's better than I expected. Right. Okay. Now, if you have questions, raise your hand. I'll come to you with the mic. Or you, you should come to me with the mic. Dude. Mike. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, without a mic, it doesn't come up on the feed. Um, two questions. One, how easy is it to get hold of local anesthetics? And, Not very. And two, um, 
how, what repression have you come under in Britain, for example, from doctors? Have they tried to remove the implants from you? No, they've, they've advised that I have them removed, but they can't actually make you do anything. They just uh, they refuse to treat any medical problems that have anything to do with the implants because it's self-inflicted, and they do tend to get kind of arsy about it. So you'll run into a lot of bullshit, but no one will actually stop you from doing it. Uh, also, getting hold of local anesthetics by, you mean any good anesthetic, you mean anything that ends in cane, uh, almost impossible. You can buy lidocaine powder online, but I don't know how to make it up. There's no instructions online. I managed to find one, in, one set of instructions on some survival website about how to mix it up properly, but that's the problem. You need to, if you dose it up too much, you can give yourself a heart attack, so you really need to get the right dosage, and I've never been able to. Also, some medical colleague informs me that sometimes it doesn't work on your hands. So I don't even know. I just do everything without. I mean, if you, if you ice everything up, it's not that bad. Okay, it is, but y it's worth it. <laughs> um. Like three. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, first, I think you are a hacker. Well, you hack stuff. Whoa, 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 who's talking to me? Oh, <laughs> you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> And um, the question is, uh, well, it was late, so probably it's invalid, but uh, what legal and what medical precautions do you suggest? Uh, immunization or something? No, no, I, not, nothing like immunization. I just suggest finding out what's legal to do and what's not, because mostly working on yourself, you're completely fine. It, in, I don't know if it, that's illegal in any country. It's just that doing things on other people is usually completely no-go. Uh, for example, in England, me doing this to any of you guys leads to uh, 10 years in prison for mutilation with intent to scar. So uh, I, I wouldn't if I were you. Just do it on yourself. <laughs> it's usually fine on yourself, but be sure to check it. At insurance. What? Like, like med insurance. Uh, Is no. there some difference? If insurance you won't cover yourself? this. <laughs> <laughs> I, not ever. <laughs> Um, yeah. First of all, uh, you scare me shitless. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but luckily... Uh, well, Come on, man. I'm only little. You also make me curious. Uh, first thing, medical people can grow new skin and uh, implant it. Did you ever think about finding someone who grows skin around a sensor and then have it implanted? On, it's not really necessary. You can, you can put just about anything under your skin if you peel back enough. Yeah, but it's under and you can have... You to could grow honest, it right into the skin. Yeah, but the problem of rejection, you'd have just as much hassle trying to put that in as you would trying to put it in the old school way. I don't okay. think it would actually help you. Besides, that's another thing that you need actually access to a lab for, and all I've got is a kitchen. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, may I do another question too? Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, what was it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. You, you, you use uh, sensory input that's already used for heat and... Um, and pressure? Yeah, I just use um, standard sensory devices. Does it, do the new devices, do they affect your heat and pressure feeling? Uh, no, not while I had a, well, there's, there's nothing on them. Sometimes, if you, because they're inside my fingertips, the physical devices, if you touch surfaces, sometimes it's strange if they're magnetic because the implants will be attracted to the surface, but nothing's fucked up. They don't mess up my touch or pressure sensors or anything. They just function as extras rather than anything getting in the way. Um, I have one question about having multiple magnets. Does, does that mean you can uh, specially feel a magnetic field? Specially? Specially, with more than one dimension. Oh, spatially. Yes, yes. I suck. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you can tell how big it is, how far it extends. You can even feel it getting weaker towards the edges. It's, it's quite... Um, you could draw a picture of it if I could draw. Good. <laughs> It's pretty precise. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, dude's um, got another question. <laughs> there are some questions from the um, peace missions from the I IRC. So uh, the first question is: If you ever read, if you're, it's me over here. <laughs> if I'm what now? Waving at you. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was him. Ah <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> What's so, the question, Rob? The questions from the IRC are, um, if you are not worried that you could probably be owned or that some stuff you implanted could be exploited. Oh, well, I try to make everything GPL. <laughs> so any software... <laughs> I 
and GPL. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care if I get GPL, but I'm, I'm trying very hard to make everything open. Like, I didn't actually want to show my face today because I wanted this to be just public information rather than coming from me. So hopefully it's not linked enough to me for me to be controlled at all. Um, and the other question was, um, you already told us that you... Uh, usually there's, there's very few places in the body where it'll migrate. If you put things in the back of the hands, they move around, but not very much. So generally you don't need to attach things. They just sit in tissue and stay there. I mean, it sounds kind of counterintuitive. You'd think it would move all over your body, but it doesn't. It just says where it's put. So um, how has your life changed? So, you, you know, you Good talked question. about hacking for just hacking purpose, but hmm. is it, like, worth it? Should oh, I'd we say. do it to, you know, enhance our lives or stuff? I'd say it's worth it just to satisfy curiosity. But apart from that, it, it hasn't really changed anything. You wouldn't know I had modifications if, you, if I didn't tell you. So I'm not sure it really changes anything at all. All it does is make me more curious. I mean, uh, by the time I'm done, you'll probably be able to tell because obviously my leg will look really messed up by the time this southpaw is done. But uh, so far, not much, really. I mean, I'm still as curious as I ever was. So that dude behind you has got a question. Okay, we, we, we only have time for one more, so Okay, go just for it. you, dude. <laughs> Hit me. Or don't. So I'm a software guy. I'm scared shitless by hardware because, well, two days ago I ruined a drone and then it had to be taken apart and put together, put back together to fit in a replacement part. So Sometimes I have to do that too. Where, where, does your, where does your total disregard... When software fails, I can just recompile it or something. I'm sorry, so say that really slowly, dude. When software fails, I can just recompile it. When hardware fails, well, when it needs to be fails, taken apart. I have to cut myself up and take it apart and try yeah. again. Where does your total disregard for your own wetware come from? <laughs> Do you try to justify that? <laughs> Mine's just not important. Okay. It's just... Bodily health takes a big fuck off second seat to curiosity, you know? It's just not important. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you probably okay. shouldn't be applauding that, guys. That's not healthy. <laughs> okay, we are totally out of time. Please head out on that door, not that door. Thanks Thank for you again. That was awesome. <laughs>